Infinite Campus has recently done some security updates that will change some of the way that you log into Infinite Campus, especially when you're logging in on a device for the first time or after you've cleared your browser history. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if I go to my Infinite Campus link, I'm going to see the same login page that I always see. However, when you go to sign in, you're going to see some different prompts the first time you log in on a particular device. This will happen when you sign on your laptop, if you sign in on an iPad, if you go home and sign in on a different computer or device or a Chromebook, you're always going to get this message the first time you log in on that device. So what I want to do is I want to check this little box that says recognize this device in the future and then I'm going to hit continue. If you don't do this then you're going to see this screen every single time that you log in on this device because you're basically telling Infinite Campus not to remember this device. So I'm going to check this box and I'm going to click continue. And it's going to log into Infinite Campus just like you always do. You will also get an email to your Northland Pines email account that says that you had a new login on this device. As long as you know that it was a time that you were logging into Infinite Campus, you're fine. And you're also going to get those messages, remember, when you log into, say, your Chromebook at home or your laptop at home. Anytime you log into a different device, you're going to get that prompt. And then again, if you clear your browser history because you're having some kind of problem in Chrome, you'll get the same message as well.